Did anybody ever doubt yourself because of your dyslexia? And did you ever doubt yourself? Well, quite an amusing story uh, is that age 50, uh, we had the biggest private group of companies in Europe. Um, and, uh, and I had a board meeting. And, uh, and in the board meeting, uh, somebody gave me some figures for one of our companies. And I said, is that, is that good news or bad news? And, um, and one of my directors looked at me and said, Richard, you don't know the difference between net and gross, do you? And, and, um, and, and I went, OK, well, you know, I hadn't admitted it to anybody, but I, I didn't. So he pulls out a bit of paper, and he, he, had, he brought some crayons in. So he colors the piece of paper in blue. Um, said, and then he puts a net in the, in the, in the blue sea. And, says, um, and then he puts a little fish in the net. And he says, the, the fish in the net, uh, they are at your profit at the end of the year. And the rest of the sea, uh, where the, where, which are outside the net, that's your turnover. And suddenly I went, OK, I now know the difference between net and gross. Um, but, um, but I think the, you know, the good thing about that story is you can build <laughs> the biggest group of private companies in Europe without knowing the difference between net and gross. Um, uh, because you know, what is a company? A company is simply creating a product that makes a difference to other people's lives. And if you can create you know, a better company than other people that make a difference to other people's lives, the money will come in, and then you can find somebody else to count the money up at the end of the year, and hopefully more money's come in than has gone out. Um, but um, once I knew the difference between net and gross, I realized we weren't making quite as much profit as I thought, so I thought it was the other way around. So. My, my website at Friends of Quinn, our philosophy is own it, and you seem to own your dyslexia. Are you ever nervous talking about your dyslexia? And when did you feel comfortable uh, in your own shoes? You know, from my 20s, um, I started talking about the fact that, um, you know, that I discovered that I was dyslexic. Um, and, uh, and I did it on purpose, because I think um, it's important for uh, other, you know, especially young kids who've been told that they're dyslexic to see that uh, you know, that, that successful people, um, you know, can get through it and, uh, and that, you know, if they follow their particular dreams, they follow what they're good at, uh, that, you know, that they, could be, they, they can be even more successful at what they're good at than, than, than others. So, um, and there are so many people like myself who've excelled in their, you know, individual prof um, professions um, uh, who, who have been dyslexic. So I think, it, I think, it re I think it's really important that you know, people who are dyslexic get, get out and talk about it. You know, people are really scared of this thing. Yeah. Um, and I just try to send out a message that it's not the yeah. end of the world. Yeah. And in fact, it can, it can ha may help you. Yeah. Um, because yeah. I've read articles, and one of them was even titled, Can Dyslexia Actually Help you know, Succeed Your Career? Mm. Being different is definitely good. Yeah. And, I mean, uh, but you should be, you should be Proud of whatever you are, yeah, and, I mean, and uh, being different, you, yeah. you can go to space. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they um, and uh, you can get other people to build the spaceships. Yeah. You don't have to build them yourself. <laughs> so, Richard, I would really like to thank you for being here and taking your time to do this interview with me. Pleasure. Great. Thank Thanks you. a lot. We are the world's number one and only resource for dyslexic entrepreneurs. Visit ProStarProfits.com for more details, as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tricks.